What's going on everyone? It's Ritz Lux and today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Girl, get ready for this hot tea, girl. Okay, we need to talk. Welcome to Ladies Who Lunch. Okay, so we gotta talk about this uh, Deaf Noodles drama. Dennis the Manist, girl. I'm shook. Okay, so for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, just a YouTuber, you know what I'm saying, that got cast from the house on Twitter. So, Deaf Noodles doesn't have a Twitter anymore, so you can't really spill the tea, right? And I just thought it was very interesting that all the people that he kind of, you know, reported on, gave them free publicity, and helped him, girl, now that his Twitter is, like, gone, no one is saying anything to defend him or stick up for him in the house. That's very shady. That's very shady, the house. I mean, imagine, like, defending people, multiple, not just one person. I'm talking about a group, right? Like, let me, like, let me show you. See, because I, I started some drama today, girl. I went on my Twitter, and this is what I said. I think it's very shady that Dennis, Deaf Noodle's account gets taken down from Twitter, but no big YouTubers he has defended and stuck his neck out for don't support him back. In his time of need, girl, call the police. And then somebody wrote on there, you would think his ma and pa, Ethan and Trisha, would be on their Twitter rampages for their son. After all the videos he's done painting them as the ever so perfect duo on all of YouTube. It's it's very shady. Like, I, I really do think that, I, re I just think that that's kind of messed up. Now, honestly, I know some of you in the comments are a little point dexters. Well, with Lex, if you see him on August 3rd, 1949, and you cross pollinate the Micah, you will see you are a liar. Therefore, I subscribe. What I'm trying to say is like, girl, yes, I'm pretty sure Ethan, Trisha Paytas, maybe Jake Paul, other people, other YouTubers, I probably messaged him in private and shown their support in private but when it comes to the like big goes down my life I love it so much when it comes to big youtubers no one's said anything at all I don't know I just, I just think that's shady the house girl that is so shady the house like I, it's just kind of like why would you it, it, you know what if he if and when he does his account does get back on on the Twitter, Twitter, whatever. I don't know because I bring him on. He's work, work my damn phone, girl. But whenever he gets back on there, I think people are going to be like, you know, like, so you're going to report on these snakes because uh, you were there for them during their darkest time, crying on the kitchen floor and doing this and that. But then here you are. And those say anything to you? I think that uh, definitely is, is going to learn that these YouTubers only are basically using him for a free press and publicity and to spin a narrative and all these things like that. But then whenever sh hits the fan, they're not there for him. Now, let's just say they are there for him privately and behind the scenes, but public opinion is that they're not. And so it kind of makes him look like egg on your face. Like it really does because he has been criticized for sticking up for people who don't re really shouldn't be sticking up for. Or, or even just painting a positive light or, you know, because when you report, like me, girl, when I, I spill the tea, I, I report the drama, girl. All the tea, all the time. Ain't no scandal I can't handle. You know, very much that, right? Call me now for your PR crisis. Very much that, right? Hmm. Girl. Very much that, girl. I have been through that, right? I get it. I think some of these big YouTubers do manipulate the drama community. You know, I, I do think that, and I, maybe not a manipulation in a bad way, but you know, hey, I'm dropping up, I'm dropping something Thursday. You know, get ready, gird your loins. Like who knows? Like very much that. I digress, girl. Let's move on very swiftly. <sighs> I don't know. It's just really just it's upsetting because I don't know uh, Deaf Noodles, but he seems like a nice guy. I think that he gets a lot of you know. Look, I'll, I'll put it to you this way, girl. When you're deaf noodles and you're pouring the tea, pouring the drama and stuff like that, you're doing your thing, and then like people tend to get jealous and stuff like that, and they want to come for you, they want to take you down. 
I think that's what uh, that's what happened. I think that Deaf Noodles either angered rumors are just between that girl. Rumors are on the demo. Rumors are is that James Charles in the camp over there talked to Twitter and got his Twitter canceled the house, deleted forever, suspended forever. Mm -hmm. And then people are saying Addison Ray. There's that drum. So you gotta look at all the people you upset, girl. He now he has to probably walk around with security in public, girl. Maybe it's Jacqueline the Hale. Who knows? Like who knows count those people? I mean, we get on YouTube and you're spilling the tea. They don't like people don't like that, girl. They don't. They get all wait, you talking about me? You don't even know me. Like very much that, right? It's like like let me tell you like this. Like words to live by, okay? It's one thing to go to Paris, but it's another thing to stay at the Shangala Hotel. Can can I just tell you that for a minute? Like, okay. Girl, literally, if you ever go to Paris, there is this hotel called the Shangri-La Hotel. I may got the, the name wrong or whatever, but that's what I call it. It is so beautiful. All the celebrities, all the fashion girls, it, it's, a, it's the place. It's, it's mama, it's the look. And you can eat on the balcony in a picture of the Eiffel Tower. That's a picture. You can do a room tour. You can do all these things. You can shoot your little drama videos in there. Like, girl, when I go to Paris, I'm going to stay at the Shangri-La Hotel. Now, it's, I think it's like, what, a couple thousand dollars a night, maybe $800 a night or something like that. But see, girl, I'm telling you, I'm bougie on a budget, girl. I'm bougie. I'm a baller on a budget. I'm literally going, I'm going to book the room. Maybe me and some other drama channels can split the room in half. And then I'm going to shoot my videos, get my picture, get my content. And I'm going to go after the day's over. The next day, I'm gonna go stay at the little cheap hotel, the little Piggly Wiggly girl, the little hotel down the street or something like that, the Motel 8, whatever. Mm hmm. Hotels to the dance. Right there, I'm gonna stay there. But then on social media, it's gonna look like I was at the Shangri La Hotel all week, girl. And y'all are gonna be shook. Wait till Paris opens, girl. I'm gonna be back in town to shut it down, dipping it and doing it at the Paris nightclubs. Ugh. I can't wait, girl. Can't tell me nothing, girl. Like I said, it's one thing to go to Paris, but it's another thing to stay at the Shangri-La Hotel. When I die, put that in memorial, okay? Put that, put that on my gravestone, girl, okay? And then, if that, if I have a gravestone, spread, spread my ashes, if I get cremated, spread my ashes at the Shangri-La Hotel in Paris, like, oh. How, this damn eyelash, I love, do you like my eyelashes? I think they look pretty good. So these eyelashes today, I'm wearing by Kiss Me Now Cosmetics. This is the packaging. Check it out. It has like a little drawer, it's so cute. A little drawer that opens up like that. This is called Soulmates. I love how like, this like big and fluffy they are, but they're very good in a sense of like the band. I think I have one right here. Guys, let me tell you. I wear cheap eyelashes to house. These are the ones I wear in the house. They're like 25 cents, okay? And the band, I, I really, like, I'm a professional, I know. The band of these are so slinky. Like, I can keep it on, and then after that, I gotta throw them away. There's like, very like, one-time use, right? The Kiss Me Now cosmetic lashes that I have on right now, it's one thing to wear lashes. It's another thing to wear Kiss Me Now lashes. Like, very much that, right? It's like at the Shangri-La Hotel, okay? It's one thing to wear lashes in Paris, but it's another thing to wear the, the Kiss Me Now lashes at the Shangri-La Hotel, okay? So these are the lashes. Uh, these aren't the ones I'm wearing, though, but the band, I just want to show you, it's very, like, thick, and it, I don't know, I just like the band and how thick it is. Like, it's not, like, you know, very that. So this is gonna be KMN Babe. That's this lash right here. So I just wanna shout out small companies, a small business owner. She's doing her thing, empowering women. It's amazing. I love the lash. It's it's bold, it's dramatic, but it's very for the woman, right? And I like that. Girl, I like lashes like like big old ones. If I can get one of these, but freaking a good durable one, no one's gonna wear these, girl. But me, okay? No one's gonna be walking around with these crazy ass lashes to the house but me, girl. But anyways. Back to the Deaf Noodles drama, because you're not going to believe it. I just think it's shady the hounds that, like, the people that he thought were in his corner whenever, like, it was all over, they they weren't, like, really there. And I, you know what? Maybe in a couple days, they will say something. Maybe they're working with um, in Twitter behind the scenes and not saying anything. So when his account does get brought back up, maybe he will give them a thank you. 
But you know, it's one of those things you just don't know. But it's kind of I for us for right now, right here, right now, it looks shady. The house that these people that he would report on, it was so like buddy, buddy, chummy, chummy with the house. They're not saying anything at all. You know what I'm saying? Or am I wrong? Like if I'm wrong, let me know I'm wrong. The, the house. Like, let me know I'm so wrong. But yeah. I, I really want to know that. Like, let me know, like, that that whole gig, okay? But anyways, I do want to say that this video is sponsored the house by Manscaped. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. Ship between New Zealand, Australia, and the United Kingdom. I'm not going to steer you wrong. It's an amazing company. And if you want to save some coin, I'll put my link down below, and the discount automatically applies at checkout. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the drama. Anyways, guys, I love you guys so much. I'll let you guys go. I'll report some more drama later on because it's, it's so much, girl. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you so much. Most importantly, if you're in Paris, check out the Shangri-La Hotel, honey. Oh, my God. Because like I said, it's one thing to go to Paris. It's another thing to stay at the Shangri-La Hotel. Okay. Bye. I love you so much.